love life balance kings and queens i'm Cree, and you're now in my kitchen and today we're going to be making homemade lentil soup and i'm going to show you how so let's get started okay so over here we have three medium diced carrots with one large diced yellow onion we have two medium sized zucchini um, chopped kind of chunky we have one small container of baby spinach ripped we have two cans of fire roasted diced tomatoes we have about two and a half to three cups of green lentil soup we have our olive oil here we have our vegetable broth i got two um, cartons of vegetable broth we have our lemon juice okay and now we're going to get into the seasonings we have one tablespoon of sea salt we have one and a half tablespoons of italian seasoning we have one and a half tablespoons of turmeric we have one teaspoon of celery seed we have a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper and we have two tablespoons of garlic minced garlic okay so let me wash my hands, you guys. You know I gotta stay clean. Okay, so now that my hands is washed, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead on and turn our burner on to a high really quick. We're going to get our olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. I kind of put this on kind of tight. Got it. All right, and we're just going to coat the bottom of that pan. Pot. Pan, pot. Okay, so that's coated. I don't know why I always do this. I always pick the the pan up, the pot up, and um do my oil like that. Okay, so we're gonna wait until that oil gets kind of hot. In the meantime, between time, I'll go ahead and mix my seasonings up together. Okay. I always like to mix my seasonings up because I feel like when I mix it up, it get Everything gets well incorporated when I start cooking with it. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cook my, um, saute my hard vegetables first. So my carrots and my yellow onion goes in first. Okay, you guys? We're just going to saute this for a little bit until it kind of gets softened a little bit, you guys. I'm just breaking my, um, my diced onion up. What's going on, though? How are you? I hope you guys are practicing social distancing and staying home even though they're reopening stuff still stay home I mean it's too early in my opinion it's too early it's too early to be out there so I'm still acting like it's a shelter in place even though our shelter in place has been lifted I'm still acting like a shelter in place. I play as no games, no games. If it's not my attention, I'm not going out, period. I'm kind of like that anyway. I'm a homebody, you know? So. I 
I was always social distancing. <laughs> Before this COVID-19 and stuff. Yes, I was ahead of the curve. Okay, so our um, onions is transparent. And yes, we're going to cook on hot for a little bit, you guys, okay, just to get things going. And as we start adding more and more stuff, we're going to gradually bring our heat down. Okay, so let's go ahead on that and add our seasoning. <laughs> Okay, so this is when we're going to start turning our heat down. So I'm going to let heat all the way down to about a 7, okay? Because we don't want our garlic to burn. The lentils, I'm sorry. We're going to go ahead on and add our lentils. So that lentils can get those seasonings in there. I'm so ready for this soup to be done. I done said lentil soup when I meant lentils. Pardon me. And if you need like to add more um, seasonings, do so after you add your broth. You taste your broth after you done put everything together. You done cook with your seasonings. You done added your seasonings and then you add your broth and then you taste your broth. If your broth needs a little bit of sauce or if it needs a little bit of uh, more Italian seasoning or you want to kind of a little bit more spicy, you add more cayenne. But right now, this is what we do. Just follow creep. Okay, I think I'm going to add my nice tomatoes in there. Stir that in. Bring it up just a little bit and put it on nine. Okay. So let's go ahead on and add our vegetable broth. I don't like my soup um, soupy, you guys. I like my soup kind of chunky. So some people say, yo, oh, you kind of like yours, kind of like a stew. But either way, I like mine to be chunky. I don't like soupy soup. That's just me, you know. Everyone is different. If you like your soupy, add more broth. If you don't, then add just enough. Whatever you like, whatever you like. Okay, I'm going to turn my burner back on high so we can go ahead and get this soup boiling. Okay. Add a little bit more broth. So I just use one container and then I might use half of a container. For this because I still got to add more vegetables so use half a container of that I'm gonna do a couple of squirts of lemon juice one two three four five a couple of drops And it's going to go really quick. You're going to um, basically simmer this for about, for about, I'm going to say about 10 minutes. And then when that is kind of simmered in and 
your lentils start getting kind of soft, that's why I'm going to add in the other vegetables. You don't want to add your zucchini in right now because you don't want your zucchini to be soggy. I don't like my zucchini to be soggy. I want it to kind of have like a bite, you know. Let me get a top. Okay, I'm going to taste to see if um, I need to add anything, you guys, as far as seasoning. Oh, my seasoning is good. Don't have to add anything, guys. It's so bomb. I'm telling you, lentil soup is like the easiest soup that you can make because with these lentils, you don't have to soak them overnight. You can if you want to, but I don't. I only um, washed, I sorted and rinsed mine and washed them off good. And I um, soaked them for like, what, two to three hours, you know? And basically your lentil soup is done once um, your lentils is soft, so. It don't take long. I'm going to bring my soup down until about an 8. I'm going to start putting stuff up, you guys. I'm telling you, it's not going to take that long at all. Every once in a while, give it a nice stir. That I, it doesn't take that long and I like to eat my soup with crackers you know you can do crackers you can do French bread you can add like um, go to your bakery and get you some French bread and um, dice it kind of like diagonal if you're trying to be fancy you know you toast it in the oven and then you take it out the oven you spread some butter up there you take you some um, garlic and you spread a little garlic up there a little parsley because you know parsley makes everything look fancy right and there you have it. There'll be a little side thing for your lentil soup. But today I'm using rich crackers. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead on and add my spinach. Like I said, this is a small container of spinach, you guys. Add my spinach on up in there. Small container of spinach. And I what I do is I just take a handful like this and I rip them like that some of this is already ripped and some of them is not back and do um a crease kitchen not like i said not next sunday but the following sunday i think i'm gonna bake something but i'm not sure what i'm gonna bake yet it's gonna be something really special though got a little something in mind but i'm not sure if i'm gonna do that one yet but we'll see Pushing my spinach down. Hi, sis. Oh, my goodness, I'm almost about through now. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. And you know you can freeze your soup. So whatever you don't eat, you can freeze it. I think you can freeze soup for like two to three months. In your Ziploc bag. It 
It smells so yummy. Oh my goodness. Right. I'm going to kind of bring it on down to a six. Okay. Let me turn this soup down, you guys, into about a five. Okay, so once that's kind of simmering on down, we're going to go ahead on and add our zucchini. Okay, so remember this is two medium-sized chopped big chunks of zucchini, okay? And we're going to cook that until that is kind of like softened, not soggy, softened, okay? And with anything with any food like this soups spaghettis anything that you're making a sauce with as time goes on and the seasons are marinated in your refrigerator it tastes so much better but off gate straight from the pot to the bowl this soup is going to be slamming i'm telling you but it's either it's even going to taste more good more better as time goes on and the seasoning is marinated omg you're gonna be like i did that i'm like yeah i told you and you learned it right here on creed's kitchen <laughs> okay so let me go ahead on and add my zucchini i'm just gonna get these plates out the way okay So let me taste one of these zucchinis so I can know if it's done, done. Let's see here. Uh oh. We almost done then. You can kind of split your zucchini in half and you're almost done. This smells so good, you guys. Oh yeah. She done. Okay, she is finished. She is finished. She is complete. Lentil soup is bomb. I told you about 25 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, and your soup is done. It does not take a long time, guys, at all. I appreciate everyone that pays attention to me while I'm going on live. You guys don't understand how greatly appreciative I am. Let's go ahead and leave. Go ahead and plate this up. It's beautiful. It's colorful. You're getting all your vegetables. Yes. It's so pretty, you guys. A little bit because I'm hungry, okay? I've been waiting. So don't judge me. Okay. And here you have it. Your lentil soup. I can't eat it right now, of course, because it's piping hot. Can you see? I don't want to tip tilt it too much. But yes, your lentil soup is done. It's complete. You can garnish it if you want to with some thyme or some fresh parsley or however you want to. I'm going to sprinkle me a little bit more turmeric. And I'm going to sprinkle me a little bit of that Italian seasoning. Choo, 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 choo. And I'm going to sprinkle me a little parsley, choo, 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 just for that complete finish. 
And there you have it, lentil soup, Cree's Kitchen Style. Make sure that you check me out in the next two weeks. Not next Sunday, but the following Sunday. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. So search Cree's Kitchen and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Also, follow Cree's Kitchen on Instagram. That's C-R-I dot kitchen. Until next time, you know I love you. Peace.